All right, it has come down to this. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I beat this boss. Uh, anyways, final part of Elden Ring. This series has been one of my all-time favorites to make videos for. Um, as you're seeing this, it's... I don't know what date in April it is. I'm going to tell you, I'm recording this on March 31st, 6.42 p.m. It's actually Clementine's birthday today. Thought it'd be kind of cool to have this done on this date. When I'm posting this, it'll be after my 12 years on YouTube. So, um, thank you for joining me each day. I've been kind of posting these videos close to like an hour each day for like the last month, it seems like. So, all right. I know this is the final boss. Somebody told me a little bit about it. There's like holy damage and stuff. Um, so, I'm ca here's what I'm going to do. I got a few uh, faith spells I'm going to use here. Or incantations. We got flame... Uh, grant me strength, which I don't know how much this is going to help me. I really just had this for the Rivers of Blood because it also has a fire effect on it sometimes. Um, I don't think bleed or fire is going to work against this boss. So I have this. Somebody said to expect a lot of holy damage. Greatly increases holy damage negation. Uh, I've heard it's upwards to like 60%. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, Golden Vow, just kind of an all-around basic increase attack and defense. I'm not sure about how, how much that is. Weapon-wise... Uh, I don't think Rivers of Blood is going to help. Probably going to be a Moonveld type fight. And I got this for the uh, incantation. So, all right. And since successive attacks and everything, I, I can't really use this. Well, I probably could use this still, but I don't know how much health you really get. So I took, uh, took that off, took this off because there's not going to be any blood loss. And I'm not defeating enemies, so I also took that. So here's what I'm kind of using. Boost Dexterity, raise attack power and successive attacks. Uh, reduces the FP consumed, which I think is nice. It actually, it'll give me a few more hits, I think. I may kind of change this around. This right here, the plus two, I didn't even know I had this. I think it's like a 20% damage reduction, which isn't much. And then I didn't know what else to do. I, I thought maybe I'd use the Moonbell, since it scales with that. I also got the Blasphemous Blade to plus 10. I mean, I have a lot of weapons I can actually cycle through if I really need to. Uh, the hope is I'm not here all day. I've been kind of putting this off for a bit. I could also change my equipment to have better damage negation against, like, holy. Like, right now, I'm not using the best. Like, if you look, look at the amount of blue on all these. It's so much better. It's so much better. But I'm going to just try this because I like this set. So, all right. Here we go. I think I still have the uh, rune arc from last time. Oh, let me get... Let me get... I'm actually... Let me try the rivers of blood first. Let's just give it a shot. I feel like I'm going to be here for the next uh, couple of hours. <laughs> here we go, man. Wish me luck. Alright, buddy. Me and you. Radagon right the... Okay. Well, we know the damage.
Yo, this music is... It's like the menu music. It's kind of cool. I just realized that. Okay, I think this might... Might be my best bet here. Oh, God. A little stagger there. Let's get it, baby. Yo, I love that this is the menu music. That makes it so much better. Oh no, what is this? Oh my god. What is that? I don't know what is going on. Oh god. Might as well just do two, two there. Oh my god, he does so much damage. Oh no, hold on. Oh, almost got him first try. I will say this. It's it's kind of a fun fight as far as, like, he has a really, like... So the last fight we just had, you know, against Godfrey whenever he transformed. Um, one of my favorite things about that fight was the fact that it was like fighting a Dragon Ball Z character. It was actually, although it was scary, it was a lot of fun. This is definitely a fun fight, uh, although... You can die pretty quick, so. Even though the Rivers of Blood didn't have any bleed effect, I mean, it did a lot of damage pretty quickly, you know? Alright, here we go again. I wonder if there's a cutscene every time. Yeah, there is. You have to just keep skipping it. Kind of being aggressive. Oh my god. Dead. Yeah, that damage. I kind of... I was trying to see how quickly I could stagger the boss. Golden Order. Yeah, I've, I've heard this music so often when I'm editing videos. Because it's like... All my gameplay clips start on the menu. And then I'm in the game. And it's like... That same soundtrack. <laughs> it's like... It's like embedded in my brain. Alright. Here we go. I'm not so much worried about this fight as much as I am uh, I've heard there's a second phase that's way harder um, so we'll see kind of been hard to avoid spoilers with this game it's cool there's a cutscene every time though okay I did a good bit of damage oh god too soon. I'm just trying to heal. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I will say this. The way the fight is set up, he's he's very aggressive. So I don't, I don't see a lot of room to, like, heal. You know what I mean? The Rivers of Blood, I mean, it was doing work for a minute. The problem is, the consecutive attacks, you have to kind of build it up. And I feel like for this, it's not quite as helpful. Not ready to pop Runarchs yet. I don't feel confident in the fight just yet. When I fought God Godfrey, I felt like there was a moment here and there where I was like, I think I could do this. This one, I'm not quite sure yet. aggressive there for a minute. Oh my god, hold on. I just realized... Okay. That little instant transmission is so cool. 
Oh, it's still on the ground. I'm dead. That damage is sickening. I don't know why I just sat there and took that. That's probably gonna kill me. Oh my god. I did not mean to triple hill there. It's all good. That's a cool attack. It still hit me. Okay, cool. I'm not sure how you get past that. Ah, oh, man. Not sure if I'm... He has a lot of consecutive attacks to do a lot of damage. That's kind of what I'm seeing right now. Going, uh, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Because this phase... I feel it's doable. But I know that I have to finish this phase and then the other one. Whatever that is. I don't know if he transforms or... Whatever. I'm assuming it's like Godfrey, but I don't know. That's one thing I've actually avoided in this fight is seeing what the final, final boss. Somebody told me there's two phases to this. That's all I know. Gonna pop up. Okay. The way you stagger in this game has always been kind of fun because you are having to constantly. This is gonna hurt. Wow. I could not avoid that. I love it. Oh, it's a, okay. A little ring right there. I see that. Oh, man. He has like... If I'm looking at this like a fighting game character, his move list is very unorthodox. Most of the time, like, okay, for instance, the Godfrey second phase, whenever he changed his name and all that, uh, he had a lot of grapple attacks. Turned into, like, King and Zangief, you know? And it's just like, what are you supposed to do? You kind of avoid different things. But with this fight, he has a lot of quick attacks up close in your face, and then he also has... The range stuff, the AOE effects on the ground, kind of like lured whenever he hits the ground. Sometimes it stays there, sometimes it doesn't. Big learning curve. I'll say that much. I kind of traded right there. Oh my god. I'm dead. Oh, the fact you let me heal is amazing. Oh, no. I completely missed!
Okay. That third attack, you don't want to be next to him at all. That's kind of what I just learned from that. Seems like the first two you can dodge. The third one, he kind of leaves something on the ground that will kill you. I'm doing decent damage against it. Or against him. I'm not sure exactly like... Stringing it together like perfectly is one thing. But I have to do that while also saving enough for whatever's in phase two. Here we go, man. Well, I could get two of these off. I thought I dodged it. Okay, keep getting to do that. Oh no. Dead. That actually stayed on the ground too. I had no idea that was going to be there. Run away, run away. Okay. That right there. Do you see how it's like no matter where you're at, you're not safe. Okay, they'll follow up. Too much, I'm dead. Kind of got greedy. It's a double hit. A lot of damage. I'll tell you this. No matter what level you are, this fight is tough. It is, uh... Hey, here's the thing, though. Look at his health bar. I'm actually doing a lot of damage. I'm getting him close to what I think is probably the, uh... You know, within like a hit or two sometimes of killing him. But he's just, he's just got a little more uh, stuff I haven't seen yet. Some of the combos is kind of a tri trial and error type thing. I'm tempted to go back to uh, the Rivers of Blood for a minute. Because I can do a lot of damage at the start with that, I think. Like, if I just kind of commit... Like right here. Does more damage. That actually saved me by not... I... That first hit did so much damage. You know what I you know what I think I will try before we go into the fight? Now I don't know if it'll carry over though. I just I just thought about that. What if I I'm not I'm not actually even using this yet. I think it's Yeah, let's try this out. Let's do a golden vow and then the other one. I don't the thing is I don't know if they go through the cutscenes. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Let's try to do each of these. All right, this one. No, let's try this one. I, I don't know what, I mean, I've never used those before. But if it's like, if he's doing a lot of holy damage, I would be curious to see, like, how much damage I take now, you know? God.
Oh, come on. This is gonna hurt. I think I get him right here. What are you, buddy? Yo, my camera is crazy right now. Hey, a sword swipe? At your size? Okay, yeah, no, no bleed effect. I couldn't even see what he's doing. Yo, this fight is crazy. What kind of boss is this? It's like a kind of a dragon in a way, but what? Okay, it's like a delayed. Good to know. Can I get close to you, buddy? No idea what's going on. Oh my god. I don't think Blue Bell's gonna get it done! Yo, this is crazy. I can see why people struggle in this fight. You can't quite do much. Oh my god, what is this? I think, oh, I've seen this part. I didn't know what this was. Hopping over it. Well, I don't know if I did it or not. How am I supposed to get to this boss? You know what I mean? That's a like that's a long way to go. Oh boy. What is that? Oh my god, I just got grabbed. I think that might be GG's. Oh, man. Just trying to get next to you, buddy. Okay, the little belly down. I couldn't... No, no, not that stuff again. Do I just run or what? It kind of grazes me. Probably gonna die. Not feeling too confident right here. What's that? 
Can't really see. In the belly down? Okay. Yeah, I don't... It, it's tough because I don't quite know... Uh, it, what's funny is now that I thought about it, I didn't know this was the final boss. I saw a clip on Twitter of somebody jumping over these rings, but I didn't actually see the enemy. That's what that was. I kind of instinctively remembered that. Okay. A um, few things I'm thinking about. I feel like... I don't know if this helps much. I mean, boost intelligence. I could put back on... Raises dexterity. But I could also put on... A little more health. I don't know. I'm kind of torn right now because that's what I, I want to go for like survivability. I'm thinking maybe I switch up some of my armor. Um, equipment load, I'm not worried about really. We're going to change up some armor and just kind of look around and see what we got. Yeah, I mean like the better, like better poise, vitality, focus, robustness, immunity, everything. How does this look? Oh, I look weird, but <laughs> it's all about the stats, baby. Maybe that one. This would make me heavy, okay. Uh, I mean... Let's just go whatever has, like, the best holy, I guess. How do I look? I, you know, I don't look too bad. I don't look too bad. <laughs> We're just going to try it out. In, in all fairness, I mean, wow, I look kind of goofy. That's kind of the way it is, you know? Almost every game you have, like, these, uh... I don't think it's... I don't know if these last that long. I feel like I'm doing this one too soon. But it also, I'm, I'm tempted because... The FP regeneration and all that. I can see the icons up there, so. That second phase has a lot of holy attacks. Oh, like a, a ton. Too soon. Oh my god. Yeah, this first phase, if I just go all out attacking. Attack. I like those. God. I'm going to do this really quick. I got to run. My only issue is I don't have a lot of FP. I have one more of these flasks, but I don't know if using that stuff is very useful or, or what. Okay, yeah, this is the part I'm worried about. Okay. 
can't see. It, I mean, I gotta say, this is a really awesome fight. Where does he go? Oh, he's right here. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god. What I noticed is the uh I just don't know what's going on. That's the one thing about this fight is... I mean, hey, that's progress right there. Here's what I'm, I think I wasted my time on. I think the... Uh, first off, I don't know if the armor helped. I, I felt like it did something, right? It all kind of matches. I just realized, is this the same set? Oh, no, it's a different Um. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I feel like FP is kind of a big deal in this. I don't think my max HP is really going to matter. Give it a few more tries what I currently have. I know I look goofy, but... <laughs> it, you know, it is what it is. What we'll do here... Instead of doing... Yeah, instead of doing the... Uh, we'll do Golden Val on this one. Because the other one... Yeah, that, that's a lot. Yeah, I felt like it didn't matter. I could try those in the sec the second phase, uh, but I'm just gonna like brute brute force this first phase as much as I can. Okay, I don't know how to quite get past that. Try to double hit there, hold up. I I could have sworn I dodged that, but oh well. Dude, he's so scary. There we go. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to, like, the first phase, I'm not too worried about it now since I just can do such quick consecutive attacks. I'm gonna run right at this thing. Get behind it, maybe. I don't know. Already to this phase, okay. Let me just run away. I don't know. Oh, here he is. Oh 
no. Run, 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 run. What is that? Never seen that before. Yo, I mean, I'm telling you, he's like... Yeah, there's just so much going on. I'm just taking, like, chip damage here. I don't even know what is happening. More holy attacks. I just want to do damage. That's all I want to do. I don't think you can stagger this thing. You gotta run again. I had a feeling that last hit. Oh, this again? Double. Okay. Oh, triple. I need FP here. I really do. Trying to dodge. I, I'm just trying to, uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, man, look at the health bar. Oh. Hey, this is tough. This is tough. Okay. Getting that close. I needed one more hit. I Here's what I'm running into. If I don't use my... Hold on. I just got to think about this for a second. I'm really, if I don't use anything in the first phase, no, no FP, no anything. You want know to think I will do? Uh, let's see, take this off. It only gives me a little bit more. I, I don't know, like having the extra HP is nice. I'm torn because let's change something really quick. I'm confident enough to where I feel like if I have a perfect run, I can get it done. Um, I'm just trying to think like what I want to do. Because it's like, do I... Let's change the Great Rune out. This is what I thought about trying. This is all three things I need, you know? The rest of it doesn't matter as much. All the attributes by... I mean, this also could be good. Plus five and everything. Let's try this out. I have 20 of these. That didn't give me much of anything, but... I might do more damage. You know? We'll see. Yeah, let's just try... Instead of using anything in the first phase oh really you know what I've been doing fine let's just try this we'll do this one only time in the fight I'm gonna use these because I don't even know if them together is worth it 
We'll see, though. But see how much FP that actually used? That's FP I could be using in that final phase. I had to pop one of those things and get FP gradually back, but I don't know if it's worth it. I just come out here and do massive damage. Two of these, he's like almost halfway. A lot of damage. Yeah, I think he's like he heard me talk about that second phase and was like, you ain't going anywhere. Okay, well. Go ahead and just use this preemptively. I don't think it popped, though. Sometimes it just hits you. I have no idea. That is definitely odd. He seems to lay on the opposite side of the stage. Like right over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, here he goes. Your attack, buddy. Yo, I don't think he's done that yet. Oh my. Like the hardest part of this fight is getting close to him. I thought I was going to die right there. I hate these so much. He's got more. Oh my god. Health is kind of a big issue here now. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping he comes over here. What the? Right here the whole time. I got a few options here. Run up, just be aggressive. I have to. 
Got it. Ugh. All right, 50 minutes. That, that's what took me. Um, 500,000 runes from that. Oh, there's a grace right here. Like, where am I at right now? Oh, I guess I'm in the same area, right? Oh, so it's just a normal spot you can come back to. Very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna put all my other stuff back on I was using. I think that's it. But, let me, uh... So I just wanted to put all this back on. <laughs> it's like, um, bloody wolf. That was a that was a really good fight. All right, let's go ahead and get this ending. Uh, gotta go ahead and say right now. Okay, we got summon Ronnie. Uh, what about this? Mend the Elden Ring. Use mending rune of the Death Prince. Use mending rune of the Fell Curse. Really? See, there's four different endings right there. Uh, the one I really wanted to get for this video was this. This is like the one I had my eye on the entire time. Somebody said you can summon her at the end. And it's like a really cool cutscene. So, all right. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars, a thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. Oh, we did it very first uh very first i guess from software game i've ever completed on my channel and it's also the longest one they've ever made one of the absolute best games i've ever played um beat it on my daughter's birthday too march 31st i'm not sure when you're gonna see this video <laughs> uh we're like the 40s on part numbers as you're seeing this so i will tell you this i played 
a lot of games over the last 12 years of my life. And I mean a lot. Hundreds, maybe, I don't know. I would actually be curious how many games I've actually played. On and off, like, recording. I don't know if it's over a thousand. Maybe, maybe it is. It's gotta be, maybe it could be a few thousand for all I know. Um, none of them have made me want to jump and get into the recording space quicker than this game every single day for the last, I don't know, when this game come out. I don't, I don't even remember when this game came out. Let's see. Elden Ring release date. Because I'm just curious. February 25th, I beat it on March 31st. So it took me about five weeks. But also February shorts, so maybe a little, little over a month. We'll just say that. Um, but I, I feel like this game is more of an experience than anything. And what's cool is even if you watched my entire series, yeah, you saw the main bosses, but there are hundreds of bosses still in the game that I have not even seen yet. Double Crucible Knight. A lot of stuff I want to do. Um, going to be doing like a new game plus run, but I'm not going to do any videos for it. Uh, what, I, what I was going to do... This is the final part. Wouldn't mind doing a video on some of the other endings. Um, if I can get those. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I can go back. Unless I can reload my save. I don't know. Because it seems like after the fight, you can take a break. <laughs> and you can just restart your game and you're good to go. So, I might do a bonus video. We'll kind of see how this one goes. But, uh, thank you for joining me each and every day on this game. Um, it's, it's just wild, you know. Like, I've played so many games and none of them have had, like, the effect of sing single-player game that has this much content. Only a handful of games have this much stuff. This one is almost overwhelming. But once you finish it, you kind of look back, you're like, I mean, it's an actual journey. Yeah, you can speed run the game. You can skip a lot of stuff. You can just, you know, do whatever you want to do. I spent a lot of time farming. Uh, leveled up my character enough to where I wouldn't... I already knew if, if I went into a lot of stuff underleveled, I wouldn't enjoy it as, as much. Which is why I overleveled so much. I spent hours on hours just leveling up my character. You know, dexterity, trying out different weapons. Um, and it came down to the Rivers of Blood. I was actually surprised. I thought the Moonvel or something else was going to be taking place. Like the spear. Uh, the bolt spear, whatever it's called, when you throw... Uh, Thought something like that might might take the spot because well, once I saw this boss, I thought, okay, one, I can't do a bleed effect. Two, it's flying. It's got a lot of projectiles. So I know like the holy resistance was going to be a big, big thing there. None of the cantations or incantations seem to last that long. So I don't really think I had just enough faith to use them all. I thought I would try them, but it really didn't, really didn't matter. I think at the end of the day, just not like, I think when I used the moon veil originally in the first phase, you do damage, you can stagger, but you have to wait. You have to almost wait for him to attack every time, and then you attack. <laughs> Whereas Rivers of Blood, I'm like, I could probably get a full combo in there before he even, like, is aggroed toward me, you know? So, yeah, all these bosses, all the, uh, all the quest lines, all the stuff. Now, there's a lot of stuff I also missed. I, you know, that was one thing I was going to say, like, I did want to go back and do some of the quests again. In my spare time, I'm going to level up my character. My my goal is if they ever do a DLC for this game, I want to be max level. I want to just, I want to be like all the way, like 700, whatever it is. If everything's 99 or 100 maxed out, that's what I'm hoping for. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, I played, let's go ahead and go down the list of like what I think is like the most iconic games I've played on my channel. Grand Theft Auto V. It's one of my most viewed videos. Actually, the, the final part of Grand Theft Auto is the most viewed video on my channel. Like, period. Um, part one of that series. Now, this was back in 2013. I thought The Walking Dead Survival Instinct also came out that, that year. And it was the first time any series I had, you know, did decent. Like, that, that well. And I never thought I'd any, have anything like that until The Last of Us came out. And then Grand Theft Auto came out all in the same few months. It was, and then that's when the uh, so the PS4 dropped, the Xbox One dropped. I mean, it was just uh, that was probably one of the biggest years of gaming. So I feel like that's a very I iconic era. You had The Last of Us, which I think was one of the best games I've ever played. I'm trying to think like PS4 wise, we had God of War, which I thought was a really amazing game. 
Uh, Spider-Man. Miles Morales was more PS5. Um, all the Dead Rising games. I remember like the Dead Space stuff. Those were like iconic. Kind of got me, I guess, from the ground up perspective, getting known in the community and stuff like that. Dead Space 2 kind of put me on the map. It's when I ever. It's like the first time I ever got like noticed by developers and publishers to where I'd even because I used to not get games from people. I would. I didn't know who to ask. I didn't have contacts. I didn't know anything, and I was like scared of doing promotional stuff. I didn't want to. Like, I didn't want to uh, taint the brand that I had kind of created for myself. So I just, you know, I kind of just played the big games. But by doing so, you play a lot of great games over the years. But there's only a hand few, like a hand few, a handful uh, that will kind of stick with you for a long time. I think Elden Ring is going to be a game that not only stays me for a very long time. I'm going to look back at this year. And think, man, I'm not only am I glad I experienced that game, but I'm glad I finished it for you guys. Because that was my 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 big thing was going into this year. I was like, why can't I beat a Dark Souls game? Like, what's been the problem before? And I think with Sekiro, it was like, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't good enough. You know, it's a lot of parrying, a lot of quick movements, everything like that. And kind of want to go back and try it again now. So not, but I, I just feel like I was really determined. In this game, I took down most of the major bosses, all the remembrances, everything, and uh, it was just is one of those things that. Actually, you know what? We're on the credits. Can I skip these and see? Okay, begin journey two. If you do not start over now, you can choose to begin journey two later. Oh, so any time you can just start the next journey. So if I hit if I hit no, where does it take me? Round table. I want at any time. I'm guessing. It's an option. Okay, there it is. That's that's wild. That is cool. Let's see what the remembrance got us. Everything's like falling apart though. I, I will be doing like a brand new game, but um Oh well, we get the hammer? I definitely would get the great sword first. Wave of gold. Gold breaker. Okay. Trying to see what they both cost. Dexterity, faith, strength. Yeah, for both of them. I feel like usually the one that costs money or runes with it is one of the the like the better two. I'm gonna get the great sword. Oh, what about armor? Hold on. Is there any armor from that? Yep. Oh, that's the other one. Never mind. I forgot all about this other armor. I didn't see it last time. We should go... Uh, I was going to go test it out, but... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of just wait. I want to do some bonus videos. I'll leave it up to you guys. Kind of just end here. Um, I just want to say a few last things, though. Like, played a lot of games over the years. I've never experienced anything like this game. It's not only one of the best games I've ever played. It's also one of my favorite series I've created. It's like... The mixture of the two. I'll tell you this like that. I, I played so many games over the years where I really enjoyed it. But it didn't seem to, you know. People didn't seem to enjoy it as much with, when I, like watching my videos and stuff. So this was like the perfect storm. Um, just the constant feedback. I had a lot of help with this series, you know, through emails. This is, a, I think, the perfect streaming type game. And that's something that doing like a YouTube VOD type thing, which is just my usual stuff. It uh, doesn't always translate well with certain games, but this one I was kind of worried. But at the end of the day, I was like, man, if I had spent hours on, like, Melina, uh, I would have probably, like, lost my mind if I was streaming. But I could take breaks when I'm recording it. So it's, like, one of the main reasons I haven't really streamed much is just for, like, privacy. Like, my daughter, you know, she's now two years old. Go figure that. That's crazy, right? I remember when she was born, which is, is wild. So, all right. Got to go spend time with her. Uh... Yeah, I don't know where to rank this game, and I, you, you can't even say it's the best game of the year. I think it's one of the best games of like the last decade of games that I played. I, I think if this doesn't win game of the year, it'll be like ridiculous. Not only had, I mean, it also scored high. It's one of the few games that come out and it has a ton of hype behind it, and it also is actually good, you know. So it seems like. 
Let's see. So I kind of go back to the first step area. Just to like kind of re revisit that really quick before we go. Because this is kind of where it all started, you know. Come out here and fight the tree sentinel. It's cool though that you can just come back over here. Granted, the map is, it does have the, uh, oh, that, oh, wow, look at the tree. That is crazy. Like, the ash and all the stuff from it. I really like the sword. The Blasphemous Blade is so nice. Look at the stuff moving on it. It's so insane. All right, um, that is it. I want to say that I don't know what to do next. This is going to be like an empty void I really need to figure out, like, because I really enjoy doing the daily videos. Um, I could keep going. What I'm going to do before a new game plus is run around, try to duplicate all the remembrances I possibly can before a brand new game, get all the ancient, um, get all these. Got five of that, one of those, but I've used three of these, so I've gotten four total. I've heard there's like seven or eight. Um, might do a bonus video with the other endings if you guys want. I, I don't know if I can get them all, but I could probably get a few. And then I could kind of explore, find a few a few bosses I haven't killed, maybe a few areas I haven't seen. There was one area I, I did want to go to. Um, I want to say it's below this, but I could be wrong. I don't know if that's how you get there. I just remember there was like a big falling platform. I was watching my friend play this on Discord when the game kind of first came out. And he kind of rolled into that area. Um, also, areas like where you use the stone sword key. I want to find all those. You can kind of see the spot that's burst up out of the ground from the Radon fight. That's still cool. You can see it from over here. Yeah, the overall scale of this game is just amazing. I, I've never experienced anything like it. I think it's honestly one of the best games ever created. And um, I'm just glad to have you all with me on this journey. Um... Yeah, I, I really hate to see this game end. I really do. But, hey, not everything lasts forever. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, I figured if I do bonus videos, I, I mean, I could... I'd probably do, like, the new game plus with the bonus videos. I don't think I'll come back here again. Because I want the map to be new again. You know, I want to do all the quest lines I missed. I want to do everything. I don't want the tree on fire. I want it back the way it was. So I, I will be doing a new game plus, but after I get, like, all the... The stuff that doesn't carry over. The golden seeds, the sacred tears, everything. So, um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Been a... Been an amazing journey, to say the least. And I'm looking forward to keep playing this down the road. Um, here's what I'll say right now. Performance-wise. Yeah, the frame rate. I've seen, like, the PC gameplay versus PS5. Can't tell much of a difference. I played this whole thing on PS5, and it didn't crash one time. And I have... 128 hours. Not once did it crash. Not a single time. And I think that right there is a true testament to, like, the games they've made. And also played it all offline. I didn't summon anybody. I didn't have... I didn't use any, uh... On any of the bosses, I didn't use, like, the ashes or anything. I had, like, the mimic and all that, but I just... I don't know. I was so high-leveled, high, high leveled, I, I felt like... You know, I could probably take out most of these bosses. I think... I thought, like, give my... Let me do, like, top five bosses really quick before I go. I have to say, I think the Fire Giants, probably number five. Melina, probably four, uh, although it was terrorizing. Uh, three, probably the Godfrey fight. I like the Elden Ring uh, final boss, you know. One is... I, here's the thing. One... It's going to sound stupid, right? But I think it was on part 9 of my series. The Crucible Knight. And the reason I, I think that's one of my favorite fights is because... If you noticed before that... I wasn't high level. I was struggling. That changed the entire game for me, I think. And then I, I, I went over to the... Uh, you know, the castle over here. Took down Margit... When I, if, I have two videos from the network test in the playlist of all these videos, and when I fought Margit, um, the first time, it was in that part two. Never finished it. That was my taste of determination, I think. When the game came out, I was like, I missed so much stuff. I watched other people play the, like, the network test as well, and realized I missed everything. So, 
I'm excited I was able to finish this game. I want to keep playing it. I will be playing it probably for, for like the foreseeable future. Uh, here's what I kind of thought about doing. The next video, if you guys want, I'll do some more endings. I might find some bosses I haven't killed. Kind of get those done. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll get as many endings as I can in the next video. We'll just kind of see how it goes. I'm going to give this one some time, though. Might take a little breather uh, after this uploads. We'll see. All right. Love you all. Take it easy. And thanks for watching Elden Ring. Peace out, guys.